Hello again YouTube, this is my second video of today actually, I just finished filming the 226E2 which is uploading right now, so that'll be online by the time you watch this, you might have already seen it. Um, yeah, so that's one gas blowback review out of the way. I've got another one to show you now, which I have owned for quite a bit longer than the uh, 226. So I can give you a better idea of reliability here. Um, and this is the TM Glock 26 Custom Green version. Foliage Green. Uh, which is their kind of version of OD, the uh, olive coloured Glocks. So, as you can see, I got this also from Zero One Airsoft, because uh, living in Dorset, they're so close to me. I bought it for about £135. Um, the original Glock, uh, they sell for... I don't know, maybe £20 less than that, £15, £20 less, so I think for the extra bits you get, this is a pretty good deal. You get a standard Glock 17 manual, just like you get a standard P226 manual with the other gun, and then you get a little pamphlet saying what's different about this uh, custom series gun, as well as the extra parts, so it's very similar in some ways to the E2 that I showed you earlier. Right, so here's the box it comes in, standard styrofoam TM, Unlike normal, I don't believe this came with any BBs, um, or anything. Oh, just pulled that out. I can't see any BBs or anything. Okay, I assume there aren't any then. That's, that's just actually the first time I've really thought about that. Nor, um, usually for a TM pistol, you, nor do you get an unjamming rod. Which I haven't actually questioned until now. No, it looks like you don't. Anyway, yeah, box is nice. Uh, enough space for a spare magazine like normal with TM. Okay, I'll just put all this aside for now. One second. Okay, so in the box you'll get the gun and the magazine. Uh, something that strikes out of Well, once again, I managed to accidentally turn off my camera whilst filming. So, I'll start from here. We've got, um, this is what comes in the box, the pistol and the magazine. You'll notice what makes it a custom gun from the factory is this weird looking, um, I don't really know, it's, it's kind of a beaver tail, uh, I, I don't even know what it is, it's kind of a thumb rest. It's got these protrusions on each side, and the whole idea is that you can get a really high grip by, see this ridiculously high grip, see that? You can get your thumbs all the way up here, but I find it digs in quite a bit, and it's really uncomfortable. Also, with my thumbs, it's impossible to get to the uh, slide lock. So, I removed that, uh, I pulled out the pin, you can just take it straight off replace it with a pin if you've got the right kind of size, it takes any kind of Glock pin, uh, Glock 17 rear pin, or just find one that fits. Uh, and that gives it a really nice thin profile, I, I'd much prefer the original Glock frame, so you can get a nice grip on that, which, which is perfect I think. You, it, um, start again. It also comes with this um, mag bow, no it's not a mag bumper, that's on the mag. It comes with a magwell uh, sort of extension which attaches for a screw here which I've removed to show you. Um, see it just slots in here. It um, It's a flared magwell which means when you're reloading it's much easier to slip a magazine in but I think it <coughs> makes the gun look quite kind of ugly. It's, I've, you know, it really doesn't suit the grip angle of a Glock so once again pull that off so I've, I've pretty much removed all the custom parts except for the frame because I really don't think they help much at all. The, the uh, magwell's perfectly fine for quick loading anyway, so I don't really see the point. So there, you can see the sight for uh, camera trouble anyway. There's the sight picture and um, I'll go through the features of the gun, put the magazine aside. We've got a one-piece uh, polymer lower, which is just normal ABS, in the OD colour. I find it really comfortable with the finger grooves and the slant of the grip. Not everyone does, but I think that's a really good grip angle and you can get a really nice high grip on it, like I always say, with pistols, which is good. Yeah, I think that's a really nice grip. Uh, nice texturing as well. It doesn't have a removable back strap or anything, it's just solid. But I do like that, and you could replace it with a Garda lower or a normal. Replace it with a uh, standard Glock lower, it'll fit a Glock 18 lower, so you could have an OD. Glock 18, which would be nice. Going through the features of the frame quickly, 
Uh, we've got a really small magazine release catch made out of plastic, which pokes from the other side. It is not ambidextrous, it's just a one side affair. Uh, magazine clicks in smoothly and slides out smoothly, it's perfect. So this, after a year of use, hasn't worn down at all. Still seems to be working perfectly, so that's good. Uh, I've also got the slide lock straight above that, which is kind of protected by this rim. Uh, and that functions perfectly after a year of use. It's starting to wear down a little bit, but still locking back solidly. Uh, which is great, because it will reliably lock back every time. Uh, it is metal, and is in a great position just to quickly hit with your thumb. I prefer it to the SIG slide lock, actually. I think it's a really good little slide lock. Uh, so yeah. You could get an extended one, by the way. You can buy a, uh, I think it's, who's it made by? S or Surgeon, I think, make an extended one. Uh, moving up, this pin has been polished by myself, as did I do with that pin, because they were getting a bit dirty. Uh, the trigger is quite a nice little feature, actually. Uh, unlike a normal Glock trigger, it's actually a loaded uh, indicator. Right now it's unloaded, as you can see, so the trigger is in the back position. It doesn't move hardly at all. Now, as soon as I go to cock it, See that? Clicks out, showing that it's uh, loaded. So if I chamber around, if I did chamber around, you can see that the trigger is now in that position. And you can feel it as well. You can feel the trigger's back with a nice break point. So you can uh, chamber your gun, and then when you're in the field, you draw it. You don't have to go rack it again, because you can feel straight away that that's loaded, or unloaded. That's a really nice feature. Moving up are the uh, takedown levers, which is one bar connected on both sides. It's a really good takedown lever, I think, uh, because you hardly need to do anything. It's, a lot of people complain about it, but I find it very easy to use. All you have to do is cock it, thumb on that uh, one, have a few, your index finger on that side, just pull them down, and with your thumb, push the side forward, and it comes off just like that. Uh, now I've got the weapon down, I can show you the internals. The, uh, the frame on its own is incredibly light. Uh, these guide rails are metal, as is the rear section, but there's so much plastic in between, this thing hardly weighs anything at all. Here you can see the uh, takedown lever going up and down. Now remember, this is a very old gun, so it's quite dirty inside, but I do clean it regularly. Here's your uh, slide catch, and here is your hammer assembly. Uh, note that the Glock has an internal hammer, so you can see a little hammer inside, which is nice, and you can also see from this feature how uh, the trigger works. See that? The uh, reset button is here. So if I go press the reset, trigger snaps out. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's that. this is compatible with any standard Glock 18. I think Glock 18? I'm not sure. Any standard Glock 17 and an 18 lower will fit on this. The Glock 26, the small version, is very different, so don't try and mix them. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, here is the slide, which is standard the one that originally came with this gun had holes drilled into the top uh, by the factory because it's meant to be a custom and you know a custom gun and it looks a bit more uh, more sport like. But I replaced it with a standard slide after the other one started to wear down a little bit. I found that the holes in the top caused it to cycle a bit too quickly and it it started to crack. But this one's perfect. Uh, you shouldn't have any problems really. I just used it for a very long time. As I said, I've owned this for over a year, and this is my second slide. Uh, the sights aren't actually custom that I've got on here right now. Sorry, aren't actually uh, from the factory. I replaced the rear with a two-dot style metal one that I bought, which gives a really nice profile. The originals are fine. You'll, I'm sure you know, they're perfectly fine to use. I just prefer the three-dot, so you can see they're really good sights. Uh, this metal housing and the rear plate is metal. You've got your blowback chamber there and nozzle. You've got your chamber and breech block here, which you can see. Uh, and then you've got your guide rod and recoil spring, which is a metal piece instead of the KSC, which I believe is a plastic assembly. Uh, this slide does come with nice trademarks, just like the original for this gun did. Uh, nice rear serrations, really easy to use. Okay, I'll slip that back on the gun because I just remembered there's a feature I forgot it. You simply pull it back on the gun and it's there. Straight back. Okay, yeah, something that I forgot that's uh, not present on other uh, companies' Glocks is this tag here, you can see. 
this um, this number tag can be slid back. Watch this. There, slid back and uses a manual safety. The trigger is totally fixed, can't do anything. Uh, it's not particularly practical, but maybe if you're uh, safety conscious and you're at home or whatever, you could use that. You don't want to be using it in the field, though, because it will take a long time to try and unlock. Uh, I believe that pretty much finishes this review. I, I know it's been quite short. There isn't really a whole lot to go over with Glocks. It's, um, it is plastic, plastic slide, plastic body, and plastic outer barrel, but it's a very solid performer. Um, range is just as good as any other pistol through the adjustable hop-up, which is, if I remove the slide, it's located that that little wheel right there. I have had no long-term problems with this. The trigger bar, uh, the trigger bar, which is the bit that connects the uh, hammer and the trigger, can become a little bit bent over time, but it's nothing that a little bit of a reforming can't fix. Sorry, he's trying to get focused. But anyway, that I've had no major problems with this, and I would totally recommend it. You don't. If you want them, they're there for you to use, but otherwise just remove them and enjoy it and use it for what is a, an excellent combat sidearm. Uh, I've been taking this to every skirmish I've, been, I've gone to in the last year, and it's served me perfectly uh, without the custom parts on. I love the colour of the frame, I like the compatibility with Glock parts and flashlights, and the uh, awesome long uh, magazine. I think it's a really nice piece. I'll give you a quick uh, sample of the action. Now this is on Abbey Ultra Gas. It's medium powered, so not too much. But it's pretty fast cycling. As you can see. And it, it gives reasonable kick. For a very light, small slide, it does kick nicely. I think that just about wraps up the review. Uh, again, can't think of anything else. I would totally recommend this. Um, if you're a fan of the original Black Block, well, maybe that's what you should be going for. But um, if you want something that's a little bit different that you won't see so often on the skirmish field, I can't think of any reason why I wouldn't recommend the TM Glock 17 Custom. Thank you for watching.